What's up everybody? Everything has gotten so expensive in the last six months that I thought it'd be a good idea to do an updated cost of living for Rockville, Maryland. Things are just a lot more expensive than they were a year ago when I did my last video. So today we're gonna go through it all. Not just housing, but everyday stuff like groceries and gas and entertainment. So let's just dive right in. And if you're thinking about moving to Rockville, Maryland and you like our help, just send us an email, we'll set up a Zoom, we'll get you started. So if you look at websites like bestplaces.net, you can see how Rockville compares to the rest of Maryland and also the rest of the country. Take a look at this chart and you can see they gave Rockville a rating of 143.6 compared to the US average of 100. So it's definitely an expensive place to live. Now, the most expensive part of this, if you look at the chart, is definitely housing but we'll go through each one individually. If you look at payscale.com, they show that Rockville is 47% higher than the rest of the country. Once again, check out the housing. They show housing is 139% higher than the rest of the country. You can plug in your city to Payscale and it will compare the cost of living where you live to Rockville, Maryland to see if, for example, you made $100,000 salary what you would have to make in Rockville to have the same lifestyle. I actually plugged in my friend who lives in Nashville, Tennessee to see where she lives compared to Rockville. And I have to say, you gotta make a lot more money here in Rockville to have the same quality of life. So you may wanna skip that part and just go straight to the meat and bones, which we're gonna get to right now. So let's start with housing since that is the main culprit. According to realtor.com, the median list price for a single family home in Rockville is $620,000. Let's do a real search in real time to see what we really can find right now in August of 2022 for Rockville. So I'll go into our local MLS and do a search for active and pending. So they're all current homes, single family in Rockville. You'll see a huge range from 380,000 up to $3 million. The more expensive homes are the ones that are closer in to Potomac and Bethesda. So while there are many homes that are listed for 620,000 or even a little lower, most of the people that I work with that are moving into the area prefer to be closer in. So I have to say in my experience right now in 2022, the average sale home for a single family in Rockville closer in to Potomac and Bethesda is more like $820,000. Now don't get me wrong, could you find something for less than $820,000? Sure. In fact, actually a lot of my clients end up paying more because they want a newer neighborhood and a bigger house. And they're more like $1.2 to $1.3 million. But you can see there is a wide range. Now, prices have gone up a lot in the last year, as we all know. And right now in August of 2022, we're definitely feeling the correction. So we'll see where those prices go in the next year or two. As far as townhomes or condos go, let's do a quick search so we can see where they land. For this video, I'm just gonna do two bedrooms or more and two bathrooms or more. And look, we also have a wide range. These prices range from 225,000 up to 1.5 million. And then you also have either condo fees or HOA fees or sometimes both. And while we're at it, let's take a quick look at rental prices. Now I'm just gonna do a search on the MLS. So there's gonna be more rentals outside of the MLS, but for our purposes, let's just see what we get. So we'll do the same thing, two bedrooms or more, two bathrooms or more. We're not gonna specify whether it's an apartment, condo, or a townhouse. We're just gonna see the range of all the rentals. So here you can see the square feet, the bedrooms, bathrooms, and you scroll down to see the range. It starts at $2,400 a month up to $4,200 a month. But that's for a really big house with six bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. As far as property taxes are concerned, every house in Rockville, which is in Montgomery County, is assessed every three years. Your property taxes are based on your assessment, and a lot of times your assessment is way lower than the market value, which is good because you want your property taxes to be lower. These assessors have never been in the houses, so they primarily go by square footage and recent prices. So let's take a look at a real property tax bill that I just pulled today and very quickly go through it. This property is assessed at $585,733. Just FYI, on the open market, it'd probably go for about $850,000. You have a state tax of 0 0.1120, which is $656.02, a county tax, Montgomery County, with a rate of 0.8856, which is $5,187.26, and a Rockville tax with a rate of 0 0.2929, 
which is $1,710.34. This is all for the year, although tax bills are cut in half, so you either pay them twice a year or a lot of times they're escrowed with your mortgage, so you'll pay every month just as part of your big mortgage payment to your lender. The other charges on here are for a solid waste charge, which is for leaf collection, which is kind of cool. All we have to do in Rockville is drag our leaves to the street and the trucks will come by and they'll vacuum them up. They give us specific dates and we just do it that way. We don't have to bag them, so it's really nice. A refuse charge, which is for trash and recycling. They come every Tuesday, they pick it up. Just have to put your bins right at your mailbox on the street. And a Rockville stormwater management fee, which is for clean water requirements. And then you see you have a tax credit of $692, which is a homestead credit, which you get after you live in the property for one year. A couple more tax things. Income tax in Montgomery County is 3.2%, but you should always check with your accountants and sales tax here is 6%. The tax if you're buying alcohol in one of our Montgomery County liquor stores is 9%. As far as water and sewer, the city of Rockville will bill you quarterly and everybody's usage is different, but you could probably put about an average of $200 every quarter aside just to pay for water and sewer. Okay, moving on to everyday life. Let's talk about groceries. So I have to say, I honestly feel like everything has gone up so much recently. I can't get in and out of a grocery store without paying a couple hundred dollars, but I'm also feeding a family of four. But I went into the local Harris Teeter and took some photos of some of the staples so you can see how much it costs here compared to where you live. So we have bread, which will cost you between four and five dollars. This one happens to be on sale. Eggs are three dollars and seventy-nine cents for non-organic, and seven dollars and twenty-nine cents for organic. Their house brand organic milk is around four dollars. Going back to the bestplaces.net chart, they give our groceries a hundred and thirteen score compared to the U.S. average of a hundred. So they're definitely more expensive. So just take a look and you can always come back and look at this video when you're comparing where you live to here to see if it's more expensive here. As far as gas today in August of 2022, for regular gas today, it's $4.67. And for premium, it's $5.37. Obviously this ranges from station to station, but this is one of our local stations here in Rockville. When I look at my video that I did a year ago, gas was $3.39 for regular and $4.19 for premium. So it's a clear indication of inflation. So let's talk about healthcare for a minute. According to Wallet Hub for 2022, Maryland ranked number five as far as the best states for healthcare in the United States. It also ranked number one as far as cost. I'll put the link below so you can see how they computed these rankings. According to Money Geek, Maryland has the lowest healthcare insurance premiums, with a typical 40-year-old paying an average of $338 a month. Obviously, this varies depending on your age and your health situation, and it also depends on if your employer is paying for your health benefits or if you are paying for them yourself. But at least it gives you an idea of our healthcare system here in Maryland. It is pretty affordable, and like I said, they are ranked number five in the country, so it's a good thing to know. What about movies? Well, if you wanna go out to the movies here in Rockville, it'll cost you $15 for an adult, and $14.50 for a child. I remember back in the day, children used to be half price. Guess not anymore. If you go to the iPic, on the other hand, it'll cost you $19 for an adult and $10 for a child. So more in line with what I'm used to. Regardless, all of these prices have gone up in the last couple of years. As far as the Metro, if you were gonna go from Rockville Metro Station to DC Metro Center, which is the center of the DC Metro line, It'll cost you $5.75 for peak times and $3.85 for off-peak. For seniors, it's $2.85. One good piece of news is that our parks here, the Great Falls National Park and the Billy Goat Trail, which I talk about a lot in my videos, well, they're all free, and the parking at the Billy Goat Trail is also free. If you wanna know more about Rockville, definitely check out these two videos. They've got a lot of great information in them and will help you decide if you wanna live here. But this at least gives you an idea of what it would cost you if you decide to move to Rockville, Maryland. And if you're thinking about moving to Rockville or any place in Montgomery County or Maryland, DC or Virginia, and you would like our help, just send us an email and we'll set up a Zoom, we'll get you started. 
We've helped so many families relocate here to Rockville and other parts of Montgomery County, and we'd like to make it as seamless as possible. And if you do get some value out of this video and you'd like to show our channel some support, definitely smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and motivates us to make more videos. We really want to bring you the most up-to-date information to help you and your family make the best decisions. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye.